It's our first day of homeschool and I'm so excited. And as excited as I was that day, I was not ready mentally for the reality of what our first day of homeschooling was actually going to look like. Here's how it all went down. They got messed up. <laughs> so, they got messed up. <clears throat> You're gonna do this one. You're gonna color the letter A, the letter A. Micah. These are the letters of the alphabet. Can you say, Micah, say there are six, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Micah, Micah. You do this, baby. I want pink. Yeah. Now I gotta go get your sister. Say, there are 26 letters in the alphabet, Micah. Oh my God. Do you want green or blue or both? You want blue? Okay. Well, at least you're not working. I can see them work. Okay, I'll give you a different one. Yeah, Let's try these. Let's try those. Okay, 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 okay. I know, I'm sorry. so much beauty in this world for us to enjoy. Look at the painting on this page. Tell me some of the things you see that can bring us joy. Hey, okay, MJ, you sit with me. What on this page bring us joy? The houses. What about the sun? Right? No. The sun brings us warmth, right? Look. There's trees and light and grass and the hills and the sky and our friends, right? And like, so there are 26 letters in the alphabet. How many letters are in the alphabet? How many letters are in the alphabet, Micah? There's 26 letters in the alphabet. How many letters are in the alphabet? 26. Good job. Go. Oh, yes, you sit right here. Sarai, look at me. Sarai. Go, MJ. Go. Go. It's too much. Look. Some of the letters are special. They are called vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. A, A, E, E, O, U. Okay? A, as. A, as. E, ed. E, ed. E, in. E, in. Uh, on. Uh, on. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Look at the images below. Do you see these pictures right here? Point to something green. Um, this. Yep, that's green. And that. Point to something and orange. Orange, that. Yep. What's orange, Micah? What this. And right there, right? Before we go any further, I wanted to give you a quick look at the curriculum that we're using this year, which is from The Good and The Beautiful. You can access this curriculum for free online, or you can purchase the physical products, which is what I have here. I knew that this would make my life so much easier. So the preschool curriculum is pretty easy. It comes with a practice sheet book and then this workbook. 
all of the curriculum that we ever need to do will be in this workbook and you just go page by page. There's also a folder with activities in it that accompanies the workbook, but we didn't use any of those for our first day. So that's why I didn't show it here. Now onto the kindergarten curriculum. So this is one of the little booster books that come in this collection here that goes hand in hand with the booster cards that are in this little book right here. These are really all about helping your child learn the fundamentals of reading and you essentially practice those before getting into each lesson for the day. Now this is the language arts workbook and we are starting with vowels and you saw a little bit earlier in this video us going through the first lesson but this workbook is stacked and of course this is one of the things that everyone says about the good and the beautiful is that the artwork and the imagery is just so so beautiful and so good so for me i'm only having my daughter focus on language arts and math that is the base for kindergarten and you can add other subjects to this, but that's essentially what they need is handwriting practice, language arts for learning how to read and math. My daughter got through this lesson actually really quickly today and continues to get through these really quickly, which shows me that it's doing a great job of incorporating math in a way that makes sense from a holistic perspective and not so numbers focused. Like it's definitely keeping the child engaged with all the artwork and little games that we play to help get those math concepts to stick. The math curriculum also came with this little box of trinkets that we incorporate throughout the different lessons in the math workbook. But I also incorporated using a poppet toy to help my daughter count and she loves using her poppet with this math curriculum. So I had my first almost Mommy. stressful moment. Mommy. It, well, it was a stressful Mommy. moment. Yes, baby. So initially today was supposed to be a little bit smoother this morning because my sister was gonna be home and Mark was gonna be home to keep the little ones. So initially for this actual curriculum time, Mark was supposed to be here to have her and MJ the two littles, but he had to take my sister to work. So I ended up having to have Emery with me while I'm trying to do our first curriculum session with Micah, which wasn't terrible, but like I tried reading the script and hold her and, you know, Mommy. talk to Sarai. I'll show you. Mommy, just stop. Here, look, 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 stop, 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 look. Daddy, wait, Mommy, wait, wait, look, you're gonna do this. Can you, where's another A? Can you point the number A? Just go, just go. Do, do other A. Do the other, no? Where's the other A at? Right there. No. Where's another A? A. 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 Yeah, right, right here. There. Right there, right there. Where's another A? Right there. Right there. Good job. A, move, sorry. move Micah. A, where's another A? Right there. Yeah, good, good job, job, Micah. Yes. There was like a moment there when I'm like trying to handle Emery, trying to read the script for this preschool curriculum. Hey, help him. Help him, please. There's no more. Yes, there are. You're right there. Look, flip it. So, Sarai did good with the handwriting booklet which is this one. It's essentially a practice handwriting and she did really good with this. I think honestly, because she had such a great teacher last year with her pre-K program. Shout out Miss Carter, we love you, we miss you. Um, so she's already, even with not having really touched or talked about letters and things all summer, she was able to jump right in and remembers her numbers, her letters, her shapes, her colors, all that really well. So that was a plus that I realized this morning 
um, and made me feel some relief because Micah is the one who's like, can't even sit down. Okay. So I'm not stressing out too much about him not sitting down much because really for him, if we don't get through lessons each day, I'm okay with that. It's more about getting him in the rhythm of school versus trying to like be on top of some sort of like academic you know, rigorous schedule. So he did good though. He colored his A, which was his practice sheet. And he listened somewhat to the script that I was trying to say, but I didn't get through it. Y'all. Yes, baby. I read some of it, but I realized very quickly that if you are handling multiple kids, it's kind of hard to read the script word for word. But at least it's there. So like I kind of instead of like sitting him down and reading all of this to him, I let him color while I read some of it. And then then I let him go sit at the. Yes, baby. I then let him sit and listen to. I did let him sit by the computer and listen to one of the songs. So in here, it has different songs that you're supposed to play for your child as you work hey. through the book. Hey, chill. And so today was the ABC song. And then I read him a little poem that was on the top of this page and then had him choose. He drew over it before I could get the directions out. <laughs> but we picked out all the A's in this grouping of letters here. So he did pretty good with that. And that was it for day one. Well, no, you know what? We actually have a second part. I didn't realize till now. I'm not even going to do the second page with him today. He's already doing his sticker book, so I'm not going to worry about him. I'll just save this for tomorrow. So that means Micah is done with like his academic work for the day. So he'll just play and do his thing. Hey, relax. Go open the door. So I'm having my first mid-morning snack, which is one of these Chobani complete 20 grams of protein drinks and I'm quickly realizing that this is gonna take me a minute to get into the rhythm of like it's so new and for me like I like to have challenges kind of like already set in my head to expect if that makes sense so it's like I know we're not gonna do everything perfect so I'm not gonna freak out if things don't go as planned and blah 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 but it's like it's always the unexpected things that like drive you up the wall. So we are actually simultaneously potty training while we start homeschool. And as we were outside trying to take first day of school pictures and letting the kids play with bubbles as kind of like a celebratory little activity for them today, Micah comes back inside to get more bubbles and I come in after him and he pees. And that mess of just clean, having to clean up pee almost set me over the edge, like almost put me there. But I had to quickly remember that this is gonna happen. Like we're gonna have these moments. I just need to make sure that I have ways to take a step back, take a breather. Like right now I'm taking a breather, having a little snack before the day continues. I definitely realized the first day of our homeschool how much I was overthinking what it was all going to be like. I kept feeling like I needed to have this super structured experience for them. And in all actuality, I learned so much more that first day about what they liked and didn't like and what actually helped them learn the most. And so from this day forward, I started to pick up on little things that helped them really stay engaged and have started incorporating those things. So if you are someone who is considering homeschooling, don't let your fear keep you from giving it a try. That's why I'm creating these videos and doing this series so that, that I can give you some inspiration and encouragement 
for your future or ongoing journey because I need it too. I'm a real life homeschooling mom and I'm just getting started too. So let's thrive with our children together.